Hi, I'm Adam with Let Us Try That, and today I'm going to be taking a look at an as seen on TV product, the Comfort Click Belt. I've lost some weight recently, and I'm on the last hole of my belt. Plus, my belt's getting kind of old and worn out anyway, so it's definitely time for a new one. But, rather than just getting a regular belt, I saw the Comfort Click Belt and thought, I should try that out. They say that this belt will adjust to fit sizes from 28 inches to 48 inches, so it's not necessarily one size fits all, but I would say that it is one size fits most. And I happen to be pretty much right in the middle of that size range, so it should work fine for me. Alright, enough talking, let's unbox this thing and see what it looks like. Alright, let's get into this thing. That's already peeling off, that's nice. It's a pretty snug fit in this box. A few moments later. There we go. Don't need that. All right, so you get the belt and the buckle separate. Ah, look at this, instructions. Find your waist size on the back of the belt, then cut two inches above your waist size. If you're a 46 inch waist or above, you don't need to cut. So they have these numbered places here. You can find your belt size and then give it a couple of extra inches. If you're going to make a mistake, I would err on the side of not cutting off enough because you can always cut off more. But if you cut off too much, you can't add more belt back on afterwards. So I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to cut off a little more than I think I need to. I mean, give myself a little more length than I think I need. So cut off a little less than I think I need to. Attach the buckle. Lift the buckle lock on the underside of the buckle. Okay, there we go. So to do that, there's a little space to get your fingernail in there and then you just pull it up that way. Slide the buckle onto the cut end of the belt, secure by closing the lock tab. Put it in and lock it down. It takes a little bit of force, but it's not too bad. And those teeth go in and hold the belt in place. Well, let's get this old belt off and we'll try the new one. Be sure that the underside of the buckle is on the same side as the numbered track. Okay, I took care of that. Got a little ahead of myself. There may be some resistance when pushing the buckle tab close the eye. Okay. Lift buckle from frame to loosen or tighten. So, see how that opens there? So, you want to loosen or tighten your belt, you pop that open and you should be able to loosen or tighten it. It's a little hard at first because the belt has been in the packaging and is all curled up. But I imagine that'll kind of straighten itself out over time. There we go. So if you want to tighten it, you can just pull on it and it ratchets tighter. If it gets too tight, if you're going to sit down or something, you just lift up on the buckle and it slides right out. I like that it even has this little piece here so it simulates the pin you have going into a hole on a regular belt. 
So now I just need to wear it around and try it out for a while to see if I like it. I've been wearing the Comfort Click belt for about a month now, and I gotta tell you, I really like it. When I'm wearing it, I forget that it's on. I don't even really think about it very much. But when I put it on and take it off, or when I adjust it, I'm reminded of how much I like it. Making the adjustments is really easy. You just pull on the belt a little bit, or lift the buckle on one side and slide the belt in or out. Being able to adjust it in increments of a quarter of an inch lets you really dial it in for the perfect fit. I also expect this belt to last for a long time because there's not as much wear and tear as there is with a traditional belt. You don't have to yank the belt back and bend it to the side to slide a pin in and out of a belt hole. I'm really happy with this belt, and the Comfort Click belt definitely gets my recommendation. If you'd like to order one for yourself, there's a link in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another Let Us Try That product review.